It was one of his big proposals during his State of the Union address on Tuesday night. President Obama hitting the road yesterday then to promote his plan to offer free, high-quality preschool for every kid in America. The size of your paycheck, though, shouldn't determine your child's future. So let's fix this. Let's make sure none of our kids start out the race of life already a step behind. Let's make it a national priority to give every child access to a high-quality early education. Okay, he said access, but who's going to pay for it? One problem, while the president offered some details about it, he, mentioned, he failed to mention exactly who would foot the bill. Stuart Varney's been thinking about this and joins us live. Stuart, so I read somewhere that with this high-quality preschool for every four-year-old in America, it would cost $10,000 per kid per year. Where's that money coming from? That is probably accurate. I don't have the precise details. That is probably an accurate right. figure. The question was put to uh, Celia Nunez. She's with the, uh, she's a domestic policy advisor for the president, and she flat out refused to say how much this program is going to cost. They'll release details later, but she did say it will not add one dime to the deficit. Okay? How is that possible? You know, just step back for a second. Look what the president is doing here. It's a repeat performance of his campaign, mm -hmm. which is you raise taxes on the rich, and you offer all kinds of free stuff to people who will vote for you in the future. Right. This is one of those occasions. Free preschool education for four-year-olds. It's free. Here it is. Hand out the goodies. What the president really doing here, because he's not saying how he's going to pay for this, mm -hmm. he's buying votes with future taxpayer money. He's increasing the scope of the unions because it is the teachers' union which will staff these preschoolers. Absolutely. And he's introducing big government, more big government, to the states. Because the government is going to say, hey, you get out there and you offer this sure. preschool. We may pay for a little of it, but you've got to pay for most of it, and here's how you're going to do it. Well, when the president's been out making the case for it, you know, he makes it sound like if we can just get this done, then kids will wind up uh, having better lives, be smarter, and we'll have a better economy. But I have read that uh, preschool is not effective after the third grade. It helps you kindergarten first, yep. second, third, but then the there's a gigantic diminishment of the effectiveness. Well, yet again, the president is saying this is an investment. Not spending is an investment which has a payoff in a better society and better educated kids and more money flowing to the Treasury in the future. He's selling it as an investment. Well, one last point, by the way. Mm -hmm. He's also going for an early Head Start program. That's for three-year-olds and under. He's also going for an increase in the home visiting program where nurses and professionals go to the homes of the poor to sign them up for preschool education, for food stamps, for cell phones, for example. Mm -hmm. That's what he's pushing for. It's not just universal pre-K. It's a lot more than that. You know what this it's is? It's entitlement. It is. It's an extension of, quite literally, the nanny state. Uh, yes. Right? I would agree with that, Stuart. Right. Yes, I would. Stuart, we're going to be watching you over on Fox Business Channel this morning at 920. you got lots to talk about.